Japanese food is renowned for being fresh and healthy, and here at Expo 2025 in Osaka, sustainable seafood is one of the many menu highlights. That said, we're not just here for the tasty food. In fact, at Expo 2025, they're asking profound and long-term questions about how to feed the growing population of our planet in a sustainable way, while also keeping everybody healthy in body and mind. So let's take a look. During the Necessities of Life, Food, Clothing and Shelter theme week, one of the ways to engage the crowd in the conversation around sustainability was to invite them to build a traditional kiyoke cask used for fermenting soy sauce. <laughs> Meanwhile, the discussion inside was focused on why Japanese specialities such as seaweed and seafood are both planet-friendly and highly nutritious. Michelin-starred chef Yoshihiro Murata believes his country's cuisine offers a pathway to nourish the generations to come. Healthy food is part of the picture, yet panelists at this high-level debate stressed that a sustainable food system needs to eliminate waste. Brazilian expert João Campari explains why. Yeah, we're wasting about 40% of all food that is produced because in appropriate storage facilities, sometimes the seeds that are planted are not fit for purpose due to climate change and other conditions. And a lot, of lo a lot is lost also on transport. Providing good food for all is one challenge and the other is staying healthy for longer. A promising innovation in the spotlight during the Health and Wellbeing theme week is regenerative medicine using what are known as IPS cells which can replace any cell in the body. Professor Yoshiki Sawa has been pioneering their use in heart therapy. To overcome this uh, uh, heart failure pandemic, I think that the most important is to develop the regenerative therapy. If we make a much more effort, I think that the finally the organ failure should be controlled by IPS cells. It is very, very promising. Taking such new technology from the lab to the market was the focus of the Japan Health Conference in Osaka alongside Expo 2025. It was initiated by Professor Sauer, who's keen to accelerate innovation in healthcare. Japan Health play a significant role to accelerate such kind of the social implementation, especially the business or the industrialization. Like many other industries, healthcare is now applying AI tools in research. Belgian immunologist Professor Damia Laoui sees strong potential to personalize cancer care. We are going more and more towards personalization of therapies and personalization of combination therapies, but that's still quite a futuristic vision. Um, but that's where AI might help us it? to then be able to make the right combination therapies in a personalized way for each patient individually. Helping the individual and supporting collective goals, both important themes here at Expo 2025. And they were perfectly symbolized by the day-long effort from the crowd to make one Kiyoki cask, which will be used for at least a century to come, according to the Soy Sauce Master. で、ま、多少はやはりその我々だけで作った方がきちっとしたものできますけど、え、この会場で手伝ってもらった皆さんの思いがこもった記憶ですので、その思いも一緒に発行していいお醤油を作りたいと思います。Well, that's all we have time for in this program, but you can see many more fresh ideas for the future from Expo 2025 on Euronews.com.